Welcome to Storytime with Sugar. Today we're reading Glamorous Garbage. Bing, bong, bing. The doorbell rang on Saturday. That must be Aunt Tessie and Joni, Mom said. Aunt Tessie is Mom's best sister. Joni is my best cousin. We are almost always together. I jumped up. Opening the door, Mom asked. Nope. Hiding in my room. Tell Joni to come find me, I said. Then lickety split. I ran upstairs. My bedroom was a teensy bit full of stuff, but somehow I snuggled into the best hiding place. Then I didn't move a muscle or even blink. Joni opened my door. Bobby, she said. I didn't answer. She tiptoed between some robots and around my pretty poodle collection. There's no space to walk in here, she said. Did you fly into your room? That maybe made me giggle. I jumped up and yelled, surprise, except I surprised myself. I bumped my head on the bookshelf and it crashed to the floor. Mom and Aunt Tessie came running. Is everyone okay? What's all the racket? I wanted to surprise Joni and my room went bonkers, I said. Bobby, this room is always bonkers, Mom said. You need to get rid of some of this stuff. No, I need all of it. It's my very favorite stuff in the world. Mom shook her head. This room is a problem and the time has come to fix it. I'll give you two weeks to decide what stays and what goes. After that, I get to decide. Mom put the shelf back up. Then she and Aunt Tessie went downstairs. Joni and I sat on my bed. Your mom's right, she said. This room is kind of a problem. I looked around. The problem is that it's a little kid room, I said. What I need is a glamorous big kid room. What you need is a cleaned up room, Joni said. It's no fun to play in here. That night, I had lots of room dreams. I woke up full of ideas. I cut out pictures from magazines and made a room poster. Then I showed it to my mom. This is what I want, I told her. Sorry, sweetie, mom said. We can't buy new things for your room right now, but you can still clean it up. Getting a glamorous big kid bedroom is not going to be easy, I told Joni after school on Monday. Just thinking about that makes me a grumpy head. Let's go to Sophie's sweet shop on the way home, she said. Maybe some fireballs will cheer you up. When we got there, Sophie was putting things by the door. I asked what they were for. For the trash, she said. I have too much stuff. I'm running out of space. All of a sudden, I had a great idea. Can I have this stuff, I asked her. Be my guest, Sophie said. You'll save me a trip to the dump. Fireballs and free stuff. Joni's was right. Sophie's cheered me right up. <coughs> <coughs> but Joni wasn't so cheery. What are you going to do with Sophie's trash, she asked. This isn't trash. This is a glamorous garbage, I said. Now I have a room plan. I think you need a plan to get rid of stuff, not collect it, Joni said. You'll see, I told her. When we got to my house, Mom met us at the door. Barbara Louise, she said. What are you doing with that junk? I have a room plan, I said. I'm not sure I like this plan, she said. You'll see, I told her. I hope so, Mom said, but you have only 11 days left to make it work. After that, I found cool stuff everywhere. I was a fearless explorer on garbage day. I was the queen of yard sales. My favorite place was the swap shed at the town dump where I got great stuff for free. Joni helped, but she wasn't happy. I can't believe you want this, she said. It looks like something that isn't something anymore. Besides, you are running out of days to fix your room. I had plenty of time, I said, and this stuff is too good to pass up. One afternoon the next week, Joni brought her pretty poodles over. Somehow, we cleared a place to, place to play, and everything started out okay. Then all of a sudden, Joni got upset. I can't find my purple poodle, she said. I just had him. He was right here. We looked all over. We looked all under. We couldn't find him anywhere. That's when Joni started yelling. There's no space to walk and there's no space to play. This room isn't glamorous. It's a mess. And now it's made me lose my purple pretty poodle. No more stuff should come into this room until stuff goes out. You know what? Something did go out of my room that day. Angry Joni. It took a while, but I found Joni's poodle in the only place we didn't look, behind my room poster. I looked at the poster and I looked at my room. They were not alike at all. I was so busy collecting things that I forgot to use the things I collected. That's when I knew it really was time to fix the problem of my room. 
I had a good plan in my head, but I didn't know where to begin. And my two weeks were almost up. I needed help. I went and got my mom. The first thing we did was make different piles. Keep it stuff, fix it, fix it up stuff, time to go stuff. The hardest pile to make was the last one. I was not happy about saying goodbye to those things. You're doing a good job, Mom said. Then she pointed to the best pile of all, the fix-it-up stuff. Now tell me about your room plan and we'll get started on that. After school, the next three days, we cleaned and painted and took stuff apart. Then we put it back together again, but in different ways. When we were done, nothing looked the same as before. Do you think Joni will come over and play now, I asked my mother. I have a feeling she will, Mom said. On Saturday morning, the doorbell sang again. That must be Aunt Tessie and Joni, Mom said. I'll answer the door. I'm going to hide, I said. Tell Joni to come find me in my room. Lickety split, I ran upstairs, but my room was so neat and clean, all the old hiding places were gone. At the last minute, I found the perfect place. A second later, Joni opened my bedroom door. Bobby, she said. I jumped out of my closet. Surprise, I yelled. And this time, I didn't surprise myself. I surprised Joni. Welcome to my glamorous big kid made with help from my mom and best cousin room, I said. I gave Joni a hug and her purple pretty poodle. Then I gave her another surprise, something that I'd made into something again. Joni loved her present and everybody loved my new room, even if it still was a teensy bit bonkers. And you know what else? I'm still the queen of yard sales.